a case of speaking to first team manager Danny Harrigan ahead of his Sunday's County Cup match against Crystal Palace. Um, Danny, obviously a long, long break, but the team are finally back. Um, first competitive match since Christmas, I think. Um, how have the training sessions gone so far? And I know it was a friendly last Sunday, so what's it like to be back? Yeah, very good to be uh, to be back and good to see you, Um Yeah, good to get the girls back in training. Um, obviously, he's having such a long break, it's kind of, uh, you're not really sure what you're going to get. Um, but to be fair to the girls, they've come back in uh, in really good shape and obviously um, no, the enthusiasm and uh, desire to get back out and running around has been great for us. So I think they're... Uh, they're desperate to get back into competitive football. Obviously, yeah, we had a friendly uh, last Sunday, which was, uh, it served its purpose. Um, and it was good just to get the girls back out, get some uh, valuable minutes into them. And um, yeah, you know, it was a good win for us. Um, it's only a friendly, but um, yeah, we, we did well in training last night. Uh, got everyone back uh, in the building now fit. So um, yeah, we're in good shape. Obviously, the league season was cancelled because um, of circumstances. Um Having had such a strong start, was that disappointing or do you think it was a bit inevitable, obviously? Uh, probably a bit of both. I think um, if, if, if you listen to what the government was saying and kind of the messages we were getting, uh, even when the season was starting back up, that this was going to happen. Um, probably a little bit disappointed that things hadn't been taken care of levels way above, above our pay grade but to make sure that if this uh, uh, if this situation did happen and we were going to be null and void or curtailed however you want to dress it up that there was a plan in place obviously there was a, a period of unknown on what was going to happen are we coming back are we not and then yes you can come back if certain things happen so frustrating uh, probably confusing at times on what was going to happen um yeah, we did have a good start. We did have a really good start. And, you know, uh, there'll probably now always be that question of what could have been on the group that we've got and the players that we did have at the time of how far we could have gone as a group. But, you know, these things happen and um, we've still got the County Cup to aim for now. So I suppose we just got to try and take the positives of what we've got. Um, but we got a good group, you know, they wouldn't let it affect them. And, um, yeah, now we're just focus, focusing on everything we've got on, on the County Cup and the friendly fixtures that we've got coming up as well. We've tried to, to get some strong games in the weeks that we've got off to see where we're at because obviously without the league season to, to test ourselves, it's, I think it's vital now that we look at the teams in our league and the league above and compare ourselves and um, probably try and just cement in our brains and, and for our own personal selves on where we are and what we could have done. Yourself and the players took part in the 100 kilometres march challenge last month. Uh, how do you find it? Uh, to be fair, there's no running from me. I can't run anymore. But yeah, uh, 100k walk, it was good. You know, I think uh, I think it came at a good time uh, for myself, you know, just to, to get out again and, and try and get yourself back in a routine, obviously, with work not being uh, the same as it used to be. Getting out and about and just walking around and getting to... To get some fresh air was good. Um, I think it, I think it was good for the club to do it, you know, across all three teams and even getting the younger ones involved. That uh, there was a little bit of competition. We set up one of those uh, Strava groups, so you didn't want to be at the bottom of the of the leaderboard. Um, so it definitely push you to go out and uh, and, and get the the vital steps in. Uh, and I think it was good for uh, for the club and for the charity as well. You know, we think we raised. I think our aim was a thousand, and I think last time I checked, we was closer two thousand four hundred. So. Um, yeah, it was good to to uh, to focus on a little bit of fitness, and then there's obviously a good cause that we uh, that will benefit from our good work. And looking ahead to this Sunday, um, like you say, despite the league being cancelled, there's something to play for in the County Cup um, quarter final against Crystal Palace development this Sunday. Um, what do you know about our opponents? Uh, to be fair, I think um, reserve teams, development teams, however you want to uh, to word them. Um, Having done it myself for, for a couple of years, uh, you never know what you're going to get with those type of teams, to be honest. Um, for obviously, for them, they're looking at um, ourselves as a first team. Uh, so they want to challenge themselves. And, and obviously, we've got, we've got to take them um, now very seriously. Um, we'll prepare for them as if we was going to be preparing for a team in the League Bar, a team in our league, or any other team. So... In terms of what we know about them, probably not too much. Um, and that's not being disrespectful to them uh, or to anyone else. We just kind of try and focus on 
this is us and this is how we're going forward and what we're going to do. And um, yeah, as I say, you know, reserve football, um, there's a lot of players in there probably got uh, things to prove uh, to the first team manager of their club, their reserve manager. They've got aspirations to try and get in their first team, which is obviously uh, in the championship. So they'll have some good players. And uh, I'm sure as a group, uh, they'll definitely be looking to focus on the County Cup much as ourselves as their season has been curtailed. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to come down to what team probably in the last couple of weeks has come back in good shape. And, you know, on the day, it's just going to be, hopefully it'll be a good game of football, to be honest. And lastly, um, obviously, is everyone back fit for this game? Everyone, no injuries or is there anyone out? Uh, no, no new fresh injuries. Um, what we do have back probably since the last time we spoke, of, I think at the time, Paige was injured. So we had Paige out. Um, uh, we're blessed that we've got two very good goalkeepers. So we've got Paige back in there now, which gives us a bit of a selection headache. But she's good around the place and it's good to have her back in training. Uh, we've got Mika. Mika's back. So I think the last time Mika played for us was... In March last year, February last year against Wimbledon. So she's been out for a year, but she's back and uh, she's come back in, in good shape, to be fair to her. So another good character to have in and around the building, uh, especially with her experience. You know, she, she played uh, at this level for a long time. So having someone like her come back into the squad's kind of like having a new sign in. And then, yeah, no, to be no, no one's come back uh, with any injuries. They got, all got through the friendly last week. We managed their game time. Uh, well and they trained last night so we've got full a full complement to pick from and uh it's just now making sure that we pick the right the right team and the right squad on the day to make sure that we can get through to the to the semi-final all right that's great thanks Danny. No